What's up guys, we're back here for OLT, and uh, yes you see it, we've used this team before, I'm going to be using it again on the ladder. Uh, not sure exactly where we are, I'm going to check right now, uh, this is still OLT round 4. LT, uh, let's actually just type in Aster, see where we have ended up at. Uh, and we are 438th, yeah, you guys don't see that, there it is, okay, good, 1732, okay, so let's try to, let's try to bring it up a little bit, let's see. I made a couple of modifications to the team, as you guys will see, uh, Berloom now has Seed Bomb over here. Uh, Zelf is now packing the Shadow Ball because I thought it was a little bit better. I'd need a Metacham check. And Shadow Ball actually hits a lot of other things as well, so it's it's kind of nice. Uh, and then the, for the rest, everything is pretty much the same as it was before. So uh, I'm actually going to pause until we get one, guys, and I'll be right back. All right, and we got one. Let's see what we got here. So a uh, very similar team to ours, actually. The first three Pokemon are exactly the same, uh, being Tyranitar, Excadrill, and uh, Charizard. Rocks are going to be pretty uh, crucial this game. Uh, seeing as he has three Pokemon that are weak to rocks and uh, another one that doesn't appreciate coming in on them So uh, in fact against this team, I think what I'm gonna do is lead with uh, Rotom and has the best lead matchup against this team uh, as he leads with Titar, which is really nice. Uh, I actually just want to I Think hydro pump on turn one is my best play in case he switches into Charizard, which is very 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 possible as I could just wisp him uh, we'll also get to see what kind of T-Tar this is. Uh, normally, Bandit doesn't run max max speed, so uh, we have a potential about speeding it. As well as if it's uh, Scarf, then we'll get to find that out by the damage. So I'm just going to open my handy dandy damage calculator over here. I'm going to start the timer on this man because he's taking quite a while. And we'll see what he wants to do. Recording this pretty late, actually, uh, compared to what I usually do. Uh, our opponent disconnects. Um, I'm going to mod join on what what's going on how do you mod join now set the off what slash mod join what what's going on why can't i mod join plus maybe what is the command now access denied what <laughs> why am i the access denied okay anyway uh, we'll just wait till the uh, timer ticks down. He's probably not coming back. Uh, we'll grab his points We won't count that obviously and we'll just jump into the next battle right away Hopefully he doesn't come back uh, with 10 seconds left. That would really suck because then we have to play two games uh, That's gonna be a little confusing for you guys to keep up with and for myself, of course So that would be uh, that would be very unfortunate. We're down to 20 seconds over here I don't know if you guys can actually see that uh, but we do get another game right here against a another uh, ladder tour player and uh, he's got a Crawdaunt, which is extremely threatening, uh, but we do have a Breloom, so it's, uh, I'm not too scared. Uh, gotta watch out for Manectric before it Mega Evolves, that could be a problem with Volt Switching. Uh, I think my absolute best lead is definitely a Zelf this game, uh, as he leads off with the Manectric, which is absolutely fine. Uh, I'll be able to, on turn one, what I want to do is actually go into Drill and force him to, uh, to Fire Move. Uh, he's gonna Mega Evolve, which is awesome, because now we can... Uh, we can actually Volt Switch around uh, almost freely. Once the Landorus is gone, it's completely free. Uh, as here, we'll go into Titar as he actually makes a nice double into Landorus, which is cool. Uh, and don't really want to stay in here. Um, Rotom is pretty safe, I would say. Uh, alternatively, I could just Crunch. It gets off good damage on my opponent's team. Uh, and knowing that I have an Excadrill and a, uh, that's on a Balloon now and uh, a Rotom, I don't see him really going for Earthquake. I basically have four immunities at the moment, so I'm actually just going to throw off a Crunch as he does U-Turn, which is awesome. We'll be able to get off some really good damage on something on his team here. Uh, hopefully the, uh, the Amoongus wouldn't be bad. Um, he might go into Latios. He might expect a Pursuit as well, we'll see. Uh, I don't need health on this T-Tar because it doesn't take anything on very well. Uh, doesn't take on the Crawdon, it gets Aqua Jetted and dies. Uh, he goes into Heatran actually to take this huge crunch, which is awesome. And now I can just fire off another one actually. Uh, because I should be faster than Defensive Tran, which he seems to be with the leftovers. And again, nothing on his team wants to take this crunch, so. By that damage, he should know that I'm banded. Uh, Protect will still put him in range of another crunch, so I'm not too worried about that play either. Uh, as he is just going to let his Heatran go down, which is awesome. That's one less threat to. Uh, well, to Excadrill and to uh, Rotom Wash. Excadrill is always faster, obviously, so it's not a huge deal, but I don't like my opponent spamming fire moves, especially ones that burn. Um, Landorus is going to come back out. I'm just going to go into Rotom at this point, I think. Uh, I don't really care if he U-turns, it's fine. Uh, there's nothing he can really U-turn into that completely threatens me other than Latios. 
Uh, but Latios, I do have... Uh, hold on. We're on last turn of sand, right? We should be. Once he goes into Latios, we'll see if the sand goes down to one. If it does, I'm going straight into his elf and I'm getting up my rocks. I'm not even hesitating. Uh, and then if he does Draco me, then he will drop himself down to a... Um, down to a minus two to the point where he cannot knock out Titar from the range it's at even with a surf So I'll be able to pursue trap that thing get rid of it and basically make it so that uh, Charizard Y can win I uh, just have to watch out for this Landorus because it's clearly scarfed by the way. He's been playing it um, He is gonna go into Latios It's awesome sand should drop to one turn as it does and now we get a free switch into his elf No matter what he does he will not be able to knock us out because sand does end this turn and uh, then we'll be able to get up our rocks. So that's really nice. There we go. So the sand is gone. We'll go for rocks right here. If he stays in then uh, and attacks us, then Titar comes in and pursuit traps this thing, making it a lot easier for uh, Charizard to win. Uh, and he can't really lock himself into Stone Edge at any point with his uh, with his um, Landorus because it's pretty much giving me a free switch into either Breloom or Excadrill afterwards. So. That's very dangerous for him to do. I'm just going to Pursuit right here, get rid of this Latios. Uh, he might go for Defog, which would be a good play. Um, I think that is his best play. Absolutely. Um, I could also Crunch here and allow him to switch, but I think this is just uh, my best play overall is just a Pursuit. Uh, obviously, he knows once again that I am Banded, uh, because Pursuit probably wouldn't have taken out Latios from that range if I was not. So he's going to go into Landorus now. Uh, I'm just going to go for Pursuit, expecting a U-turn. Uh, and get off as much damage as possible. I still have my T-Tar alive to reset up the sand, which is what I need. Uh, as now, he's going to have to take a pursuit with this Landorus, which is really, really good for us. And uh, then, I mean, I guess he can go into Manectric after. Manectric has just turned into a pretty big threat. But uh, as long as I have my sand online, I'm pretty much good to go. So, I'm not too worried. Uh, this other game, I think we should have won because it never notified me of anything. Yep. Um, and he joined, and then he left again. Well, he lost. <laughs> and then he said, oh my god. <laughs> you guys don't see that, but he said, oh my god. Alright, anyway, uh, Landorus loses half its health to that Pursuit, which is amazing. Um, an Ectric is going to come in. I expect uh, a fire move right here, actually. But there's nothing I can really do about that. I think I just have to... Uh, is Rotom my play? I think Rotom is my play. Because Lando's not too much of a threat. He does go for Flamethrower, which is awesome. And he does burn us, unfortunately. Uh, but I'll be able to, I think, fire off a Will-O-Wisp is my play here. Because if he stays in, then he gets his Manectric burned, which is really nice. Um, and we go down to the combination of Thunderbolt plus burn. We might even just go down to a Thunderbolt straight away. Knowing that, actually, I think my play is Hydro. I think my play is always Hydro Pump. Because if he goes into Crawdon, it's fine. Uh, if he goes into... Uh, Landorus, then we knock that thing out. And if he stays in, he takes a lot of damage from this Hydro Pump, which is exactly what I want. Because now he's in Iron Head range, and he doesn't have a good switch into this. Uh, I'm just going to go straight for the Iron Head. If he lets his Manectric go down, that's amazing. Uh, if he swaps into uh, Amoongus, that thing is going to take a lot of damage. Uh, and it's also going to give me a free switch into my Breloom. Well, not completely free, because he could predict and go for Sludge Bomb, but we'll see. Um... And if he, uh, okay, he just stays in with his Manectric and lets it go down to an Iron Head. That's amazing. He doesn't have the Manectric anymore. That's great. Uh, he's going to go into Crawdont. We're going to go into Titar, I think. Because um, he's definitely going to Iron, uh, he's definitely going to uh, Aqua Jet right here. Yeah, I'm going to go into Titar uh, and allow this thing to take a little bit of sand damage, which is really nice. He's actually going to knock off, so that's, that's pretty good. Um... I'm expecting this thing to be banded, so I want to go into Breloom, which outspeeds this, and I actually want to go for, I think a double into Charizard is my play, because then he doesn't have a switch. Uh, do I have to make that play, though? That's the question. Uh, I think I kind of do, actually, because if his Amoongus comes in, then I don't have a switch in afterwards. I can focus punch it and stuff, but that's, that's not really going to do anything for me. That's resisted. So I think my play is to hard double back into to Charizard right here on the Amoongus. As he does go into Amoongus, amazing. We're going to get off a huge flamethrower right here. Something is going down, and it is going to be this Amoongus right here. Goodbye. Uh, he should go into Landorus, and as a result, that gives me a free switch out into Breloom. 
right here. He should not go for a U-turn. That's a bad play. He should just Stone Edge uh, or Earthquake. Earthquake is also a play. U-turn uh, is definitely not the play. Not in my opinion, anyway, because now he doesn't have a Grass check. So uh, he is going to go for the Stone Edge. That's going to get a crit on us. That's not a big deal because we are Toxic Orb. Uh, I'll be able to fire off a Spore right here for pretty much free. He does not get another crit right there. Uh, we're going to go for the Spore. Now I'm going to sub up because I do not want uh, Crawdon to come in and Aqua Jet me. I could just Seed Bomb, but I think my play is, yeah, just a sub. There we go, and we get the win right there. So we're going to move on to the next battle. I don't think Breloom got the thumbnail last time, so it will this time because Breloom is looking pretty solid, man. I really like Breloom. And uh, Azelf got it last time, so did Excadrill and um, and Charizard, so we'll move it over to Titar, Rotom, and, uh, and Breloom this time, I think. Um, so that's what you guys should have seen. We get the bird spam team we used last time. Uh, that's kind of cool. I'm just going to lead... I think I'm going to lead a Zelf against his Zelf, actually. Um, Excadrill is Choice Scarfed, if I remember correctly. Manaphy is Tail Glow, Scald, Ice Beam, and uh, Rain Dance. Yeah, okay. I'm leading a Zelf. As he leads with his Zelf, that's fine. Uh, I'm just going to go for Stealth Rocks. He's going to go for Taunt. He's going to get the Taunt off first. I'm going to go for Shadow Ball. Knock this thing down to 22%. He's going to go for the Stealth Rocks. Hopefully we win this Speed Tie. As we do, we're able to knock out the Azelf as the Taunt ends. And we still have our Sash intact, which means we will be able to get up Rocks. So that's uh, that's kind of awesome. Goes into Talonflame. I'm just going to go for Stealth Rocks right here. As he's going to fire off a U-turn. That's perfectly fine. Going to knock us down to 2%. Excadrill is going to come in. I'm going to go for a Protect. On this turn, see what he locks himself into. He does go for the Rapid Spin indeed, which is going to give us a free switch out into uh, our own Excadrill, I believe, uh, is my play. Or Titar. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go into Titar on this turn. Because we know he's Scarfed, uh, because we use this team. Goes for the Rapid Spin, and now I'm just going to go for the Pursuit, honestly. And just uh, knock this thing down to like 20% as he switches out. Because he should switch here, in theory. Uh, I need to get rid of these rocks as quickly as possible. Luckily, our Excadrill is faster than his. Uh, we just clean knock out the Excadrill. I wasn't expecting that, actually. Uh, that's quite, kind of impressive. <laughs> Good job, Titar. And uh, now we've got a little bit of a threat to deal with in Pinsir. He actually chooses to go into Manaphy, so that's great. As um, he can Tail Glow, but I'm not too worried about it. I think I'm just going to... Do I want to Pursuit? Um, let's see. We know that we're faster than this thing with Charizard, because it only runs 280 speed. Uh, I'm just going to actually go for Pursuit right here as he goes for a Tail Glow. This is going to do a lot of damage. It's going to do 37. He is Leftovers, I believe. Yep, he is. Okay. And now we're going to sack off a Zelf right here. Uh, we don't need the Rocks Up. I've, I've decided that I don't need Rocks Up, guys, because as long as I keep my T-Tar healthy, we should be good to go. Uh, I'm going to go into Charizard right here. We're going to take 50%, but we're going to go for a Solar Beam on this turn. It is going to be able to knock out the Manaphy. We are faster, and uh, goodbye. All right, cool. So that thing's gone. Uh, Dragonite is a little bit of an issue. What I'm going to do is actually uh, go into Titar on this turn, and then we'll go into Excadrill, and we'll play from there. Uh, he can get up a D-Dance. That's absolutely fine. Uh, I don't want to risk this thing being weakness policy, so when I go into Titar, I'm just going to... Uh, go for the crunch as he goes for a D-Dance. Actually, hold on a second. We just broke his scale. Let's see if he's leftovers. He's not. What I kind of want to do is switch into Excadrill, actually. Because we're Air Balloon, right? So I'll be able to go into Drill. As he goes for uh, an Earthquake. It doesn't touch us. We can actually go for a Rapid Spin right here if I really want to. I don't really want to. <laughs> I kind of just want to go for the Iron Head here. I think that's my best play overall. Uh, he goes for the E-Speed to pop the Balloon, that's a good play. Uh, we are going to get off this huge Iron Head right here. And he has to go for E-Speed again, doesn't he? I think he does, yeah. So I'm actually going to... Do I spin now? I think I do. I think I spin here. He goes for an E-Speed. Uh, it's not able to put us in range of another one, which is really nice. And now I'm just going to go for the Iron Head again. And knock this thing out. Uh, he actually does get a high roll on that last E-Speed, so that's really unfortunate. Because now I have to set up the sand again and make a couple of sacks. Uh, he's gonna probably EQ me. I'm gonna go... Oh, wait, hold on a second. No, that doesn't work. Ah, uh, come on. No, 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 no. 
Damn. Ah, uh, I wanted to go into Rotom. Because I get rid of my own sand by doing that. Uh, I don't know if I die to E-Speed. He goes to the Dragon Claw, though. Okay, so he's the Dragon Claw variant, which means he is probably weakness policy. Uh, I'm going to go into Titar again. And this time, we're going to go into Rotom. I need Titar alive. Um, yeah, he goes for the Earthquake. That's awesome. Uh, plus one, Dragon Claw will be able to knock out Rotom, I believe. But I need Rotom. I need Rotom to win. So I'm going to go into Titar first. And Titar should be able to take a plus one Dragon Claw. It does. Awesome. Okay, cool. And now he's going to go down to Sand, and we're going to go down to whatever move he goes for. So I'm just going to fire off a Crunch. My Rotom is alive. My Rotom is healthy. That's all I needed. That is all I needed. I just needed Rotom alive. <sighs> awesome. <laughs> we're going to come out on top in this game, guys. I promise. Uh, we're going to burn the Pinsir, is what we're going to do. And we're going to Hydro the Talon Flame. And I think that's all I need to do to win. Basically. Because his pincers close combat is going to do a lot, but he needs to be at plus two to knock me out with it. Like, it doesn't even knock me out at re uh, it doesn't even do half at regular. Like, it can. It, I think that's a max roll for it to do half. But, um, I don't know what he's going to do here, man. I really don't know. Uh, in fact, seeing that Sand is up and that Breloom does nothing else, I'm going to go into Breloom first. As he goes into pincer, and we're going to go for the Spore right here. He should attack me in theory. Yeah, okay, good. Good, 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 good. All right, so Sand is only up for one more turn. We're going to go for a Will-O-Wisp right here. He shouldn't be Substitute or anything like that. Uh, he should just close combat me here. And once he does, I'll be able to Pain Split off the damage on the following turn. And we should be able to take any hit from Talonflame even if it's banded, if I'm not mistaken. He does go for the Swords Dance, so that's his best play. We do land the Will-O-Wisp, luckily. So he's going to be taking residual damage, and we'll go for a Hydro Pump right here. He should, in theory, just close combat. Uh, he goes for Swords Dance again. As I miss the Hydro, that's really unfortunate. Uh, his close combat is only going to do about 60, though. 60 to 70. So I should be able to still live a Brave Bird afterwards. Let's see. Is he going to get greedy and go for Swords Dance again? And pl uh, play off the miss? Let's see. What's stronger, actually? Hydro or Volt Switch? Uh, Volt Switch is stronger. What am I doing? Yeah, it's super effective. Definitely. I don't know why I did that. Why did I Hydro Pump? <laughs> I could've just Volted. His, uh, his plus three close combat, because it's basically plus three right now. Um, and not plus... Because he's plus four, right? So... Hold on. Pinsir. Mega Pinsir, OU Swords Dance at plus four, but burned. Uh, where's burned? Healthy, burn, 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 burn. Versus Rotom Wash. Okay, he did something. Uh, he went for the Volts. Uh, he went for the close combat. It did 72, which was about what I said. Now this Talon Flame, I don't think takes me out. Talon, because this is a resist. Like even banded Talon. Come on, give me Talon Flame. Uh, where's Ban? 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 We're gonna find out anyway, but I just want to see something. Uh, offensive Swords Dance. Let's put you at 261. Jolly, or are you adamant? I think you were adamant, right? You might have been adamant, adamant. Yeah, you are, you are, you are. Uh, Brave Bird from a not sharp beak. We'll put no item and we'll put him at plus one against Rotom. Rotom Wash. I think we live. I'm pretty sure. Uh, does 26 to 31. Hydro Pump does 113 min. So I need to go for a Hydro right here. Goes through the Brave Bird. We actually don't live that for some reason. That was weird. What the heck? I put him at plus one. That's basically Adamant Choice Band, right? Essentially. Are we not max defense or something? Hold on a second, what is this Rotom? It's 236. It should have lived that. 236. Yeah, Brave Bird, let's put a Choice Band on it. That's weird. Why did that kill me? Let's just look at a Choice Band. Yeah, it's supposed to do max 31. That should have not have taken me out. That's weird. Alright, anyway. Uh, so that's a loss, unfortunately. If, uh, if anybody wants to explain why that just happened to me, <laughs> be my guest. Uh, this guy's uh, still all the way back in, in week one uh, <laughs> of uh, Laddered Tour, uh, but we're going to be uh, going to try to beat him anyway. Um, Hoopa's kind of threatening, actually. Like, it doesn't look too threatening, but it is. Uh, I'm going to lead off with, um, with Zard against this guy. I think it has the best lead matchup. Leads off well against Torn, leads off well against Sableye, which is the important part. Uh, we're gonna, just going to go for a flamethrower turn one. He is going to swap any Heatran. That's absolutely fine. Uh, I don't know what kind of Heatran this is, though, so that's kind of scary. 
Uh, this should not be his rock setter in theory because he has a Hippowdon and a, uh, a Ferrothorn. Uh, he's going to go for a Toxic, so that's cool. I'm going to go for a Pursuit right here. He's going to go for Taunt. That's fine. Uh, we're going to Pursuit Trap this thing. That did absolutely nothing, even from Bandit. He should, in theory, stay in here. So what I'm going to do is go into Rotom. Uh, okay, that was a curious play. Uh, we're going to go for the... Volt switch on this Sableye. I know he doesn't want to get burned. This is his Mega. There's no way it's not. Uh, as he is going to allow me to Volt switch, which is nice. I'm going to go straight into Charizard here on this turn. As he's probably going for a uh, an offensive move. Knock off, yep. And uh, he knows he doesn't take a Fire Blast or a Flamethrower. I'm just going to go for Focus Blast on this turn. Okay, nice play. Going into Torn. I missed the Focus Blast. Uh, we're just going to Roost. Because nothing he can really go for hurts me too badly. Uh, so he's going to swap out into Heatran. That's absolutely fine. I've already seen what this thing can and can't do to me. Uh, I'm just going to go for the Focus Blast. We are going to land this time. And uh, he does land his Toxic. I need to watch out with Charizard. Uh, I'm going to get a little cheeky here. And... No, I'm going to go into Titar. I'm going to play it safe. Because this may or may not be his Rock Setter. I don't know anymore. He's going to swap out. I figured he'd swap into uh, not this, but... This might have superpower. Hmm. Do I risk that? Do I need really need Drill's sand though against the rest of his team? Drill outspeeds everything. Yeah, no, I don't need it. I just go for pursuit here. He does go for the U-turn. This should be able to knock out Torn. Yep, there we go. Alright. So we get rid of one of his uh fire flame fire fire thrower. Flamethrower answers right there. Uh he's gonna go into hippo probably just to get up rocks, uh, which is why I'm going to go into his elf. Uh, actually, no, that's not a good play. Come on, let me cancel. Uh, he's going to more than likely go out into Sableye right here. So what I want to do is Shadow Ball on this turn. He actually goes into Heatran, which works out even better because we're able to eliminate that thing. I could have gotten up rocks right there, but it's not a big deal. He doesn't have any hazard removal, so as soon as I get up rocks, I'm good to go. He should go for knockoff in theory here. Um... What's my play? What's my play? What's my play? I kind of just want to go into Rotom and fire off a burn on something. Or a Volt Switch. Like, I don't lose anything by doing that. Question is, do I really need it? Need it rocks up against two Pokemon that resist them? Not really. I'm just going to go for Shadow Ball, actually. Uh, as he goes for a knockoff, he's able to knock out Arazelf, but now he puts himself in a pretty bad position because something basically dies here to Charizard's Flamethrower. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to Flamethrower. Uh, we should be faster than his Hoopa unless it's Scarfed. He goes into Hippo, though, to eliminate my uh, my son. This is still going to be very close to a two-hit KO. Uh, actually, it is going to be a two-hit KO because he doesn't have leftovers. So we're just going to throw out another Flamethrower right here. Uh, pretty much something is dropping, except this Hoopa. This Hoopa is going to take it well. Yeah, it only takes 47. Shouldn't have leftovers, though, so... Uh, okay, it does. All right, that's interesting. Um... I want to go into Rotom here, um, because Rotom can take a hit, uh, or not, alright. What do I do here? Do I go into Driller? This thing is a ghost too, that's the problem. But he doesn't have an Earthquake switch on his team anymore. So, you know what, I'm just going to Volt Switch. I'm just going to go for it. Uh, his next Shadow Ball should be able to take me out, that's fine. But, he, like I said before, he doesn't have an Earthquake switching on his team anymore because he let his Rotom get, uh, his uh, Sableye get weakened. He let his Hippo get weakened. So we're going to be able to knock out the Hoopa, which is really nice. Sableye is going to come back in more than likely just to burn me. Uh, there's nothing I can really do about that other than go into Titar, maybe. Yeah, that's my play. Go into Titar, get back up the sand, uh, give this thing some residual. Now he has to deal with a crunching Titar right here. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to crunch. We should be able to pull this game out. I just need to get rid of rocks to get Charizard back in here. Uh, he's going to go into Hippo, which is going to drop to two. Uh, he's actually Rocky Helmet. Okay, that explains it. Um, let's go into Driller. And I'm going to go for the Rapid Spin here. Get rid of the rocks. Uh, hit his Rocky Helmet. He goes for rocks again. Good play. Uh, we're going to go for... I'm going to go for Rapid Spin again, I think. Yeah, I'm just going to go for it again. Take a little bit more Rocky Helmet. He's going to go for Slack Off. Awesome. Okay. Now we get... Um, now we get Berloom back in here, I think. Berloom in here is not bad, actually. 
Uh, Charizard's not bad either. Yeah, let's just go into Zard. I'm gonna go directly into it, get rid of the sand. He's gonna go for Stealth Rocks. Uh, I expect him to uh, Earthquake here. So let me kill something. And it's gonna be this Hippo. Okay, that's good. That's awesome. Now we're gonna go into Breloom. As I expect his uh, Sableye. Yep, there we go. Uh, we're not gonna get the, um, the Toxic Orb just yet, which is good. I'm gonna go for Sub. This is good. This is great. He's gonna go for the Will-O-Wisp. It's not gonna connect because of the substitute. We're gonna go for Seed Bomb here. We're gonna start weakening the Sableye. That does a lot of damage. That's good. Uh, that does not break our sub. And we have a lot of Seed Bombs, man. We have a lot of Seed Bombs. He's gonna go for Recover. That's absolutely fine. And he's gonna forfeit right there. There we go. Awesome. So we're able to pick up another win. And that's where I think I'm actually gonna end it, guys. We get two wins uh, and uh, one loss, unfortunately. But it's all good. Uh, I don't know why that Brave Bird took me out. Again, if you guys want to let me know in the comment section down below, please do that. Like if you haven't already. Uh, <laughs> yeah. If you haven't already. Subscribe as well if you haven't already. And uh, I will catch you guys later. Thanks again for watching. Peace.